mentioned, uh, opposite atomic insulated uh, properties. Uh, but this one is also not a chiral. Okay. But uh, also the chiral symmetry or something similar to well symmetrical will be break the terminal of the symmetry. It's a nice uh, try to construct a just some die effect. Mm. Right. Okay. Uh, now we are at the right time. So uh, thank you very much again, um, everybody. We can thank the speaker okay. again. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll definitely be in touch. And now we can, oh, there we go. Uh, Hung is ready to go. So our next speaker is Dr. Hung Wu. He is going to be talking about the realization of the field-free Josephson diode in the Van der Waals heterostructure. That was actually mentioned a few times earlier. So Hung, whenever you're ready, please uh, take it away. And we are still recording, yes, Val? Yeah. Great. Yeah, we are. Okay, uh, let me start my talk. Uh, hello everyone, my name is uh, Heng Wu. I'm a postdoc in uh, Mars Ali Group and in TU Delft. Uh, my talk is, uh, uh, the title of my talk is The Field Free Josephson Delta Effect in a Van der Waals uh, Heterostructure. And uh, since I think there's a, a, lot, uh, a lot of theoretical works uh, in this workshop, so I may focus more on experimental details in my talk. And this is my content. Uh, first is a brief introduction of the, Joseph, uh, of the Josephson Delta effect. And then I will dis uh, discuss about uh, uh, our observation of the field free Josephson Delta effect. And then uh, I will discuss the possible explanation of the field, jo uh, field free Josephson Delta effect. And then the, uh, a brief conclusion. First, let me start from the non reciprocal, non -reciprocal uh, transport. Uh, uh, non reciprocal transport is a, is a very typical behavior in tuning junctions, and it has been studied uh, for many years. And uh, as we can see in this IV curve, we can see the uh, different uh, voltage response while uh, uh, for the positive and uh, critical uh, and the negative uh, current. And the tuning junction is a system that breaks time uh, inversion symmetry. So when the uh, non reciprocal transport introduced, uh, was introduced to the superconducting regime. Uh, there are some, exp uh, there are some uh, expectations. For example, uh, people are looking for different, uh, also looking for different uh, uh, voltage resp response while, with the, uh, while in different, uh, uh, while in positive and uh, negative current. Uh, and uh, the system should break, break uh, both time reversal symmetry and uh, inversion symmetry. And uh, later on, uh, people found there's another kind of non-reciprocal superconductivity, and that is uh, the system can have different uh, critical current. That is, that, that is uh, the positive critical current is different from the negative current. However, in, uh, in, this, in this work, uh, the, the system they use breaks time reversal symmetry and the inverse symmetry at the same time. So, and also in, in, in the uh, non reciprocal superconductivity, previously people also uh, in, uh, ascribed these, uh, these to the magnetic chiral and the social. Uh, yeah. And I think this is the most recent uh, supernatural dialed paper about, uh, um, uh, about, the, uh, about the super lattice they used. And uh, we can, uh, as we can see from the uh, super, lattice, uh, super lattice here, uh, when they applied the magnetic field, we can see uh, from one direction the, uh, the, the, uh, the superconductor is in normal state. However, when in the other direction, the superconductor is in supernatting state. And uh, they, they, found the, uh, they found the positive and uh, uh, negative current difference with the uh, with external magnetic field. And also in this figure, they found uh, they, they see, they show the um, if, uh, they show the positive and the negative current uh, behavior as a function of magnetic field. And I think this figure relates to the uh, previous question. <clears throat> and also, this is also uh, my question, actually. And we found if they sweep the different, uh, sweep the magnetic field direction, we can see uh, the, they are, uh, just, uh, they are, they are uh, supernatural down effect is reversed. If we look closely at the blue curve and the red curve, that means is the uh, positive current becomes uh, the, the difference become uh, the different the critical current difference is swept when they 
uh, when they uh, ch change the sweep, current sweep directions. And in our, uh, in our work, we use a system and, uh, called, uh, called Josephson junctions. Uh, since there are various types of Joseph junctions, for example, the tunnel junctions and the coplanar junctions, and also recently the coplanar junctions based on uh, 2D materials. So let me uh, give a brief introduction of the Joseph junctions. So if we de describe a Joseph junction, that means we need to know the uh, know the order parameters of two different uh, two superconductors, and it can be described uh, with this formula, and uh, the Joseph junction must have a phase difference between the two superconductors and, uh, uh, the, and the um, supercurrent is, uh, as, uh, is related with the uh, phase difference and the phase difference, the deri de derivative of the phase, phase difference as a function of time is proportional to the external uh, voltage. And in the tunnel junctions, we can, we can see the uh, IC a critical current is related to, to, to the critical voltage and also the normal normal uh, normal normal state resistance, and the critical voltage is related to the superconducting gap of the superconductors, uh, and also uh, as a as a function of temperature. So in this critical uh, in this critical voltage formula, we can see that the barrier barrier property is uh, is normally neglected. Uh, in addition, the Joseph's junctions can, uh, can, uh, the, can be modulated by the external magnetic field. For example, the magnetic field can, uh, can, uh, can modify the uh, phase difference and show a critical current oscillation as a function of magnetic field. And, uh, since, uh, and therefore, the magnetic, ferromagnetism of the uh, barrier material is almost uh, considered and is very uh, widely studied in our Joseph's junctions. And um, most recently, I think uh, people are looking at the different quantum materials, uh, also like the uh, topolog topological um, properties of the barrier materials uh, to see what they are influenced to the Joseph's junctions. For example, uh, the Joseph's uh, the, the topological edge state can, uh, uh, can result in the supercurrent uh, uh, inference and the result in uh, squid-like properties. For example, in the WT to hinge, uh, also can create uh, in this WT to hinge state uh, paper. So from our point of view, and we, we think it's quite interesting to see if there's any other uh, quantum materials that can influence the Joseph's, Joseph's junctions properties. And in our project, we choose uh, uh, the Material system is now M3 uh, halogen eight, and uh, this is a this is a material uh, and uh, that undergoes a, a para para a pa sorry, paramagnetic to non-magnetic transition when uh, when cooling down the temperature, and uh, the transition temperature is uh, different with different uh, uh, bromide do dopant, and the both. Nabium three chloride eight and Nabium three bromide eight. They are layered. They are layered materials. That means we can exfoliate the exfoliate them uh, easily. And also the Nabium uh, Nabium atoms form a uh, conformal lattice in both of the, in both these materials. So let let us focus on the Nabium three bromide eight, which which I used in this project, and it has a uh, a unit cell of six la six layers. And uh, the inversion centers lies in every uh, Van der Waals gap. So therefore, that means uh, if we get a even layered Nabium three bromide eight, it it can uh, it can keeps the inversion symmetry. Uh, while uh, while if we got the odd layered Nabium three bromide eight, we we can get the we can get the. Uh, we can get the uh, we can get some film that breaks inversion symmetry. Uh, also, in recent uh, discoveries, uh, in some theoretical work and also in the RPS work, they found they predicted and, and also observed the flat band in the Nabium three uh, chloride eight monolayer samples. Uh, so it's quite interesting these materials. And in, uh, in a previous study of our group, we found the 
now BIM3 uh, chloride 8 is very insulating so that we cannot even measure uh, at uh, under some it's very hard to be measured on, uh, under some temp uh, under a specific temperature so for uh, consider this well uh, we uh, also I'm oh, sorry also I made a nobium 3 bromide 8 structure and uh, we found a similar result so uh, for the Josephson junctions we cannot make a planar structure for these for the very insulating materials so we have to use uh, uh, we have to fabricate a vertical structure for the uh, for the nobium 3 bromide 8 and I use a, a simple PDM assisted transfer method to fabricate these header structures. And also, and uh, for this device, I choose the Nalbium 3 Bromide 8 with three layers. And the Nalbium stacinate is about 13 nanometers, which is quite thick. And uh, I transfer them layer by layer and use a HBN to cover the junction area and then uh, to avoid any degradation uh, in the following measurements. So when we measure the uh, when we measure the sample and we found there's a very clear a very very clear um, transition at the RT curve and it's close and its transition temperature is close to 6.6 uh, Kelvin. And also when we measure the IV curve, it shows a very clear, uh, very very typical supernatural transition uh, transition curves. And we can see there are four different uh, transition. Uh, points and this curve, and uh, this is uh, from, uh, this is uh, uh, IC plus uh, critical current plus uh, and uh, negative current, uh, negative critical current, and also here is the uh, positive return current and the negative return current. So it's hard to see from the uh, it's hard to see the critical current difference from this figure. So we uh, replot it uh, with this structure uh, with, with the uh, absolute values. So as we can see here, here clearly, the positive uh, the, the positive critical current is very different is different with the negative critical current as well as the return current of the of, of the junction is different. But when we see this uh, when we see this feature, uh, how can we know this is an intrinsic uh, feature of the Josephson junction rather than uh, some extrinsic feature? So for example, uh, it's very common that heating effect can cause some strange a strange property of a strange measurement of the adjustment junctions. So to answer this question, we have to understand how the heating effect can affect the affect our measurements. For example, this is a, a current applied as a function of time. So there are four. Uh, let's focus on the orange line. There are four branches of this of this uh, uh, current measurement. There, that is zero to positive and positive to negative, and then zero to negative and negative to zero. So from the, uh, at all these branches, we can see while, uh, while, while from zero to positive and uh, the structure is still in supernatural states and there's no heating effect. So when the uh, ju junction goes to normal state, there is due to the, uh, due to the finite resistance, there could be some heating effect that heats the Joseph junction. And then the temperature of the Joseph junction, the local temperature of the Joseph junction may go higher than the than the that's in the, that's, then its initial temperature. So when we go back uh, goes to the negative point, at this point, uh, the critical current we measured could be different of the of the uh, of the positive uh, critical current. So and uh, so how can we uh, exclude this uh, this extrinsic effect? So we uh, so uh, if we flip the measurement directions, let's say from the uh, blue dash the line so first from zero to negative and the negative to zero and the zero, zero to positive and positive to zero so we should uh, we should uh, know that this ic minus prime should be identical with this ic plus uh, and this ic minus uh, should be identical with this ic plus prime however we didn't observe this uh, uh this um, uh, this phenomenon we can see that uh, the Positive sweep and the negative sweep they are they are overlapped, so we can we can see that the uh, the just the delta effect is from the uh, just uh, is is almost, is an intrinsic effect rather uh, is not an extrinsic heating effect, but there are also other uh, extrinsic effect extrinsic factors. For example, there may have some uh, remnant magnetic field in the 
in, in, in the uh, coil in, in the uh, of the coil state. So to ensure that uh, all these measurements are, are done at a, uh, at a zero field, we have to do the magnetic field dependent uh, measurement. Therefore, we applied the in-play in magnetic field with a sweep down direct uh, with a sweep down direction, and we found uh, when we uh, decrease the magnetic field, we can all, we can also see see the uh, Josephson diode effect, and it's almost uh, and the diode effect almost uh, uh, perished at uh, thirty point five uh, sorry, sorry thirty five millitesla, and this is our I, uh, IC versus uh, as a function of um, an external magnetic field. As we can see, there are, uh, the, since there's a very weird uh, plateau of the positive critical current, uh, so that, that, uh, therefore there's some uh, critical current difference at the below 30, below 35 millitesla. And this is the IC as a function of the external magne uh, magnetic field. And we can see it's not uh, anti-symmetric like previous, uh, like previous uh, supernatural data effect in, the, in, in that nature paper. And it, it's almost symmetric with the magnetic field. So we can confirm that the uh, just the data effect here, we, uh, fit here is a true zero field effect. And uh, in addition, we also measure the just the data effect as a fun, uh, and uh, with different uh, magnetic sweep direction. For example, we, we flip the sweep direction from uh, uh, from uh, negative magnetic field to positive uh, magne uh, positive magnetic field. However, we didn't see clear difference between these two curves. So uh, the Josephson diode effect here is uh, uh, is uh, independent with the magnetic field directions. And so, what what the usage of this Josephson diode effect as a Mm, as an analogous to analogous to the previous PN junction studies, we think since there is a critical current difference here, if we apply the apply a current in between of these uh, of uh, of the positive and negative currents, then we should get a um, rectification of a uh, of a square wave excitations, and this is what we did. As we can see, if we apply the uh, current in between and uh, in for the positive current and the, the, the Joseph junction remains in the normal normal state, resistive state, and while in the negative uh, negative current and the Josephson junction goes to the uh, supernatural state, and also to test the durability of the Josephson junctions, we did a we did a, a ten thousand circles for this junction and it remains very stable. The behavior remains very stable, and uh, also. Uh, there's some extrinsic effect can cause this rectification. For example, the drift of the current source. So to avoid this, uh, to avoid this um, extrinsic effect, we use a resistor to measure the current in the circuit rather than use the uh, nominal current shown in the current source. And we also studied the Josephson junction effect as a function of temperature. And uh, as we can see, when the temperature below one k, there's no uh, no many dif no much difference of the of the uh, IV curves, and uh, while in the in the when the temperature is goes up, the uh, Josephson diode effect almost to perish, and this is uh, I see uh, Josephson diode effect as a function of temperature, uh, and we can see it uh, almost go uh, almost. Uh, Goes to zero diff uh, difference when the temperature below, uh, close to 4K, and the almost the highest temperature we can uh, we can find the Josephson diode uh, di effect is about 3.86K, and we can see there are still the just uh, the uh, critical current difference uh, in these IV curves, and also we uh, as we can see from in this figure, the return current is almost uh, uh, is almost the uh, 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 same with the critical current. That means the Josephson junction, uh, the Josephson junction goes to the uh, strong uh, overdamped region, uh, uh, and uh, it's uh, it's um, uh, it, it's Josephson also, oh, and it can have a higher reaction time. Uh, but but for the 
a rectification at 3.86K, we can see there are some punch through errors, maybe uh, due to the due to the unstable uh, state of the supernatin state and uh, and also the resi resistive state. And then we also measured the Fraunhofer pattern of the Josephson junction and to see uh, to say this is a truly Josephson coupling between the uh, the two uh, two electrodes. And as some as a control experiments, we did some we did uh, we measured the Josephson diode effect in other devices. For example, we have a four layer device of a uh, four layer device, and we also see the similar behavior, similar IC plus IC minus behavior, and also the uh, the similar symmetric delta IC versus uh, versus magnetic field. And also, we made a two layer structure, and uh, uh, and we also see a sim very similar uh, very similar uh, critical current difference behavior. And this is this is actually quite weird because because uh, the even layer the uh, nobium three bromide eight keeps giving inversion symmetry. So we are thinking about uh, where the, uh, the the time the inversion symmetry of the nobium bromide eight is uh, is reserved. However, for the whole junction, the uh, top interface surface between the nobium the nobium disalinate and the nobium three bromide eight and the uh, bottom surface between these two materials, they are not uh, they are uh, they are not identical. That means the junction itself will break the inversion symmetry. And we also did some uh, other experiments to exclude the uh, influence of the nobium disalinate. So to see uh, if the uh, diode effect comes from the electrode electrode rather than the uh, the whole junction. For example, we made a now in the center, now in the center stack, and we found uh, we, we found that there are three steps of in, in the uh, in the IV curve, and uh, we found we found that there, uh, there's no field free just uh, superconducting data effect because the the that I see as a function of uh, magnetic field is anti symmetric with the magnetic field, and also we use a uh, uh, few layer graphene as a barrier, and we also found the uh, it, 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 the delta IC versus B is anti symmetric That means there's no field for just just uh, that effect in these devices. So, uh, so uh, next, I would like to uh, discuss about the possible mechanism of the uh, field free Johnson junctions. So previously, when they discovered the supernatural delta effect, they always uh, ascribed to the to Cairo and entropy. Uh, here, let's see if there's an if, if there's magnetic anisotropic contribution in our Josephson in our Josephson diodes. So these there are two types of magnetic magnetic anisotropy, and uh, this gamma here is a coefficient, and the uh, p here is the inversion symmetry breaking direction. And uh, for example, in the Nature paper, they have the magnetic field and the uh, the, uh, the current uh, current directions and the in very symmetric brain directions, the, uh, the, the, these three elements, they are orthogonal. And uh, however, in our, in our junctions, we have vertical uh, Z, Z direction uh, current and uh, also the Z direction uh, in very symmetric brain directions. So it seems it's not possible to have a, uh, it's not possible to have a magnetic current and, and a surface contribution in our just in that effect. And uh, also from the, Equation we can see that the the magnetic current and isotropy is uh, is anti symmetric with the different magnetic field, which is uh, contradictory with our observation. So uh, we think the magnetic current and isotropy is not the main reason for our Josephson junction uh, Josephson diode effect. And another uh, uh, and another theoretical prediction work is. Uh, uh, high is in a high TGJ and it's also uh, introduced by uh, uh, in the previous uh, of the pr previous speaker and uh, in this work they use uh, uh, they, they use uh, two uh, they use two different two different uh, uh, high TC supernatures and uh, the first one is whole doped and the second one is particle doped and then and also these two 
mm, uh, these two superconductors are close to the close to the uh, insulating superconducting um, boundary, and then uh, due to due to the uh, Fermi surface line at the at the interface interface of the uh, just junction, so they are may uh, they they predicted there could be a, a more insulating uh, uh, spontaneous multi insulating multi insulators region in this uh, in the in, uh, uh, in the surface and the multi insulating uh, insulator region will act as a uh, in analogy to a pin junction that means in one direction the uh, the region is elongated and in the other direction it, it is uh, it is suppressed that means they can realize the uh, field, uh, the, the, the uh, field free Joseph uh, Joseph's effect. And uh, how about the situation in our junctions? Uh, very uh, recently, uh, very recently, our collaborators calculated the Navium three point eight, and it's, uh, they, they found it's an obstructed, uh, obstruct, atomic obstructed insulator. Uh, that means it, uh, it uh, unlike normal uh, insulators or metals, they have the uh, charge centers localized in the every other uh, Van der Waals gap of the material, and uh, this gap, uh, this, this gap can, can result in some uh, in the built-in uh, polar uh, built-in polarization. If um, and also they found uh, they calculated there are some uh, topological trivial uh, surface state of the of this uh, of the Navium Superbrahma eight as a result of the uh, of the charge cent charge centers and the, uh, in between the gaps. And also, uh, also a similar result is done by uh, Kun Jiang, and uh, he he was uh, uh, he is the previous uh, speaker. And then he also found that the three layers of Navium three bromide eight is different, and the first layer uh, is metal, and the the next two layers are the insulate that the asymmetric uh, barrier result in may, may result in the Josephson diode effect. So uh, at last, I would like to discuss about the time reversal symmetry of the uh, junctions. Uh, in previous uh, theoretical calculations, and uh, they found they, they calculated these different uh, structures of the uh, uh, spin structures of the uh, Nabium bromine, and uh, they found is in a monolayer structure is uh, is a fer uh, the ferromagnetic has the lowest uh, energy. Then they, they predicted there are some ferromagnetism in, 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 of the material in, in the material. And uh, however, in our uh, experiments, we measured the uh, Navium dicyanide uh, uh, device uh, above the um, above the critical, uh, critical temperature of the Navium uh, dicyanide, and we found there is no signal of the. Uh, of the ferromagnetic transition, uh, uh, for example, the uh, hydrolysis of the uh, magnetic resistance as a function of, uh, as a function of uh, magnetic field, external magnetic field, and also we we use the uh, 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 field layer graphene as the electrode and measured uh, measured the Navium superbromide gain, and uh, still we didn't observe any uh, ferromagnetic related. Uh, a signal of the uh, of the material, uh, so at least we can uh, we can know maybe there should not be uh, uh, ferromagnetic ferromagnetism in this uh, material uh, at, le um, at least uh, for for current uh, current uh, measurements. And uh, if there's some um, ferromagnetism, maybe uh, very, uh, if if there's any ferromagnetism in this material, they should be very weak and they can be hardly detected by by the uh, magnetic current uh, magnetic resistance measurements. Uh, however, uh, since this since this is contradictory with with what they predicted in the uh, theoretical paper, so we think maybe there's some more uh, uh, even even more comp uh, complicated spin structures. In these materials that may break time reversal symmetry, but we are not sure, and uh, uh, we think there's more experiments need to be done in the uh, in, in the uh, as as the next step. So uh, let me give a 
brief conclusion of my project uh, of my talk. First, we realized the field uh, field free Josephson diode effect in Navium uh, descendant Navium three point eight Navium descendant Josephson junctions uh, with two, three, and four layers uh, Navium three point eight, and then we use uh, this uh, Josephson diode effect to demonstrate a uh, uh, rectification of a square wave ex excitation. However, uh, even though we discuss, we observed the field free Josephson diode effect, uh, the me fundamental mechanism we believe is still veiled and uh, more theoretical work and more experimental work are needed in the, in the future. Okay, at the last, I would like to acknowledge all my collaborators, uh, Professor Maz Ali and uh, Dr. Yang Zhao Wang and uh, other, or, and uh, Yuan Feng Xu, for uh, he is our theoretical spot and uh, uh, Professor Terrell McQueen, he is uh, he provided the uh, uh, Navium 3 Bromide 8 crystals to us. So mm, that's all my talk. Thank you. Hey, so thank you very much, Hung. Uh, that was yeah. an excellent talk. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> now uh, we will take questions. Yep. So Let's let us uh, see here. There's both the chat and uh, of course, everybody can raise hands. So I see, ah, uh, Vala, I think you were first, maybe. Actually, I think Nicola beat me. I'll let him <laughs> Okay, <go. laughs> great. So you're gonna be second then. Nicola, could you please go ahead? Uh, Nicola, you're muted or we don't hear you. Sorry, <laughs> microphone off. Um, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, can you go uh, back to the slide where you have the diode effect as a function of the field? This with the bell shape. Uh, yes, this yes, one? that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, what? Uh, so I see a sudden uh, suppression of uh, the diode effect at something like 30 millitesla, which is a field uh, much, much smaller than the critical field in plane. What yeah. caused this suppression? Or oh, you have an uh, idea or you have a guess or a picture of what? Uh, actually, we don't have uh, have any clue of this suppression. <laughs> <laughs> we also think, we also find that this is very different and very, let's say, abnormal, but uh, currently we don't have any explanation. But, uh, um, um, but, but is it the same for the different device that you have uh, shown? So or is it always more or less at this field or it changes no. from? I think no. For example, here, uh, and or, or maybe for these devices, they are uh, they, they they start at a different. Uh, I think at different magnetic field here, uh, as you they're, can see. But they, they are pretty very. They're quite similar, though. I mean, uh, yes, yeah, twenty-five to like forty. No, yeah, for, uh, I think. But uh, I believe in uh, in other devices uh, which I didn't show here. Uh, we have very uh, different. Uh, let's say, uh, turn off magnetic field. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also I, I attended the satellite talk last week and they mentioned, uh, but I, can't, I didn't get them uh, clearly. So they mentioned when they in, including the uh, orbital, orbital contribution and they, they find the uh, similar plateau at the uh, as a front hover pattern. But I'm not sure if, the, if there's anything related with our experiments and, uh, and the uh, calculation. And uh, well, if I may, just a quick uh, question, if I understood correctly. So in, uh, you said that uh, you observed the effect also for a system where the inversion symmetry is uh, uh, preserved. Uh, um, the, if I yeah. understand correctly, at this point, there is really nothing that distinguish top to bottom and plus to minus at this point. Is it correct mm -hmm. or I missed something? Uh, sorry, I didn't catch you. What so was, uh, what? The, the question is, uh, uh, your, uh, you observe a diode effect because something breaks the inversion symmetry. So the structure of the crystal, uh, uh, because you don't have time reversal breaking, at least you have to have the uh, inversion symmetry breaking. Something yeah. that distinguish your, your two electrodes, you say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, seems yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, 
But uh, you said that this uh, is visible, uh, the effect is visible also when uh, you have an even number of layers where the inversion symmetry is restored. Uh, do you understand correctly that at this point, nothing else obvious remains that distinguish the two direction for the diode effect? Uh, um, what what do you distinguish maybe, IC plus maybe or I IC minus? try to clarify for Hung. So Hung, uh, Nicola is mm. asking, first off, um, he's asking really if and how inversion symmetry is, uh, if it's being broken in the even layer devices, which crystallographically are supposed to preserve inversion. Yeah, so yeah. first, could you, yeah. Yeah, uh, for, for this question, we believe uh, even the uh, now being, now being bromide, uh, even layer the now being bromide uh, preserves, pr pr preserves the uh, inversion symmetry, but the uh, header structure, the junction itself, Will break the inversion symmetry since it has different. How? Since, please, uh, since, Hung, it, please, please yeah, since it has different uh, uh, interfaces, uh, for example, the top layered uh, Navium Dasanad uh, interface is not identical with the bottom uh, Navium Dasanad uh, and uh, Navium Bromide interface. Uh, yeah, interface. Since the top uh, Navium Dasanad and the bottom Navium Dasanad they are uh, rotated arbitrarily. And in principle, we cannot make them identical, right? Uh -huh. I see. Yeah. Thank you. So Thank you. Now it's clear. Aha, uh -huh. I think we have a question in the, well, first Vala, and then there's yeah. a question in the chat. So Vala, please go ahead. Thank you. Um, so uh, I understand that you've varied the magnetic field in out of plane and in plane directions, um, um, but I did not see in what orientation in the plane the magnetic field was, the in-plane magnetic field was uh, oriented. Could you clarify that? And also, um, and, and also could you tell us if you checked different in-plane directions? Oh, uh, uh, for this, for, uh, for, for the result shown in this talk, uh, I didn't uh, change the uh, different uh, in-plane directions, but uh, uh, during my, uh, during my measurements, because I um, always place the sample in a different uh, angle with the uh, uh, magnetic field. So even so, I, I, I'm confirmed that I, I'm sure that even if we uh, have different uh, uh, implant direction, uh, implant magnetic field directions, the magnetic field is still there. Oh, the, sorry, the, the Josephine Delta field uh, is still there. So, for example, on this specific device. Yeah. Can you tell us which orientations of in-plane field that you have tested? Uh, I can't remember exactly, but I, uh, I think it should be like around this direction to, okay. to the uh, magnetic field. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Vala. Um, I'm gonna read a question from the chat. Yeah. Uh, I, Abraham Suri asked, let us say you have a superconductor insulator normal metal insulator superconductor <laughs> structure. So S I N I S with the thickness of the two uh, I slash S layers different. Does this, does this not break inversion symmetry? Do you expect a diode effect in such a setup? Uh, I think, I think it, uh, it can be very different if we have different uh, uh, structures, for example, for 2D, 2D materials, we always have different uh, interfaces. So I, I would say, uh, if, we, if you make it, made this structure with, uh, with 2D materials, uh, then the structure will break uh, inversion symmetry along the, uh, along the Z direction, let's say. Uh, but if you made this by deposition, and I believe uh, we always consider the deposit, deposited metals, they are, uh, they are iso, isotropic. So I would doubt if the uh, if the structure would break the uh, inverse solution. So, but uh, uh, but uh, uh, like what I shown in here, and for the result here, uh, now we have a few layer graphy now we have uh, structure. It uh, it also breaks inversion symmetry uh, along the z directions since we have different uh, uh, interfaces of the uh, top. Top, uh, top interface and the bottom interface. So it doesn't mean if we have an inversion symmetry breaking that uh, definitely result uh, 
uh, uh, field free uh, supernatural diode effect. We, uh, we, we suppose it should also have something related with uh, uh, barrier material itself. For example, here is Nelvin 3 bromide 8, and we think the uh, uh, ato atomic obstructed insulator uh, uh, property may result in this uh, field free uh, supernatural diode effect. Does, does my answer uh, answer your question? I mean, we'll have to wait to see. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. Good. And uh, ah, Professor Ono, um, please uh, go ahead. Okay. Thanks. Uh, nice work. So, is it possible to change the polarity of SDE after fabrication? Uh, polarity of 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 what? Oh, uh, superconducted diode. Um. I'm not sure yet because uh, now, uh, as I measured now, uh, we always use uh, uh, we always use uh, define the, uh, the the, the uh, current through the uh, bottom to the top as a positive uh, current and uh, and the uh, top to bottom as a negative current. But and we always observe the. Uh, we always observe the negative current is larger than the uh, positive current. So at this point, we are not sure how to uh, alternate the polarity of the supernatural uh, of the Joseph diode effect. But I think it's a very it's a very interesting question, and we need to uh, test more. We need to do more. Yeah. Oh, so it is the something built in the device. Okay, I understand. Thank you very mm. much. Thank and you. That is a very good question. Uh, there's yes. another there's another question in the chat and I believe we still have five yeah. minutes. So Hung, if you're uh, uh, as long as you're willing, mm -hmm. hopefully yeah, sure, you sure, still sure. are. <laughs> good. Yeah the question so, is uh, right. I can read it myself. Go ahead. Uh, the question Go ahead. is uh, our group had uh, uh, from Seraphim and the question is, our group had a question. Did you try frequency higher than 0 0.1 hertz in your rectification experiment? Does frequency have any influence on the uh, Josephson diode effect? Uh, and, um, uh, I suppose we are, measuring, uh, we are mentioning this figure. And uh, yes, we did our rectification experiment at 0 0.1 hertz and 0 0.5 hertz, but uh, we believe this is not our not the limit of our uh, our devices because because uh, 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 in our uh, in our labs we don't have a, a RF measurement for the just for the data so we can only uh, have a, we have only response to the 0.5 uh, maybe, uh, and I also tried one uh, one hertz uh, at the maximum that is, uh, our uh, program and our uh, equipment can respond to this frequency. But I don't think this is a higher uh, the, the, the frequency limit of our Joseph's diode effect. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, and uh, I see another, you have another question in the chat. Yeah, the, uh, the other question from Saul. Uh, Saul, Saul sorry, I, sorry, Saurabh, I am not sorry, sure. Saurabh, Saurabh Singh. Yeah, Saurabh Singh. And uh, the question is PDMS sometimes leaves some residue. Did you check the interfaces between the albums? Dicena and Nabium 3 bromide 8 by cross section TEM, do they engage perfectly with each other? Uh, actually, we didn't check the, uh, the interfaces between the Nabium Dicena and the Nabium 3 bromide 8 by cross section TEM. And, uh, but we think, uh, but we, we think the surface, uh, the, the interface should be clean. And uh, should be clean enough for the for the experiments. And uh, even if there's some, uh, let's say the residue of the uh, of the PDMS, it uh, should not uh, result in this Josephson diode effect. So we believe the Josephson diode effect should come from the uh, material and the, or, or the uh, or the structure, rather than some uh, like glue resi uh, residue. Thanks. Uh, 
let's see, um, maybe just another thing to mention as far as that, I think I'd like to mention is also you did a, you know, two layer, three layer, four layer, you did a thickness dependence and found that it, it correlated essentially the lack of a diode effect, the lack of superconductivity at all. It all turned off once you got too thick. So it implies that the thickness dependence implies that there's not a significant layer of glue that's being left behind every time or that's being uh, arbitrarily left behind if, if it's uh, essentially random or not. So it looks reasonable, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Vala, last uh, question, by the way, I think. Yeah, related, on, related, on that, related to that. Um, is the labeling of positive and current of the critical current between the three devices and the thickness dependence consistent in the sense that positive current is always going up to the device or down yeah. to the device? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for these three devices, I always consistent the measurement. Okay, and so, and, and so it was always higher current, critical current up. Uh, is that correct? Uh, I, I, I forget the data, but anyway, yeah. I think it's, it's higher critical current to negative. Negative, okay, yeah, so negative. that's fine. Yeah, okay, sounds good, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. So I think, um, let's see, no last second questions. Oh, one, one at the buzzer, mm -hmm. okay. Ming Sao, uh, Hung, do you wanna read yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, there's two, uh, from oh, okay. Hmm? Uh, Oh, okay, maybe yeah. just one. I'm sorry, uh, Muhammad. I think Ming was slightly faster than you, but please post it in the chat and we can uh, ask it in the discussion. But to yeah. try to keep on schedule, um, it looks like a short question from Ming. Hung, can you just uh, yeah. do that real yeah. quick? Yeah, so the question is, is there any co coincident ferroelectricity in your system given uh, that there is a polarization in the JJ? Uh, we are not sure at, uh, at this moment because uh, Actually, the material nanobeam three bromide eight is it has been rarely studied, so um, so we need to do more experiments in the future. Okay, but, but according to the okay. but, but according to the calculation uh, from our collaborator Yuan uh, Feng Xu, uh, there's no uh, ferroelectricity in the in, in the uh, crystal. Okay. 